Okay, I'm going to give you a rundown on my 2005 Chrysler Town & Country minivan stealth camper. So, here's the unit. It's great. It's white with tinted windows. So, when you're going through speed traps, they don't even look at you. So, let's start from the back. So, in the back, pretty much full kitchen. Tell you what we got here. Got my cooler right here. Plenty of tarps, um, tarp stakes, and an extension pole for doing a canopy off the side. Some extra fuel containers. Garbage can, AKA also portable toilet. And extra bags to put in there. And then an extra bag for when you're shopping at the store. Here's usually where I store all my water. You can put four gallons of water there. This is all of my cookware up here. And in here, just a knickknack stuff I've got in here. I've got my coffee grinder in there, an extra light. I've got a portable uh, stove in case I go hiking, coffee cups extra cutting board things like that can go in there and that is a this works as a nice cutting surface on the other side here I've got my stove extra cutting boards this is all my utensils all that stuff you eat with so there you go and it just closes up simply and then Let's go over here to the side. This is the shower unit. It holds six gallons. It's heated with the sun. And right here is a valve that I hook my compressor up to. You really only have to have the compressor on for about five seconds. And then it gives you enough uh, pressure for a full shower. Here's the bed. It's a single bed here. Something I just added there. A nice cabinet of um, drawers to put clothing and such. There's my portable power generator, which can be used in conjunction with my solar panel, which is under the bed. You can plug it into this external 12 volt for when you're traveling, so it will charge it up. I can put that fan into it. I also have a real big blaster fan. These are great when you're in some place where you need the air flowing in here. Underneath the bed, I got a storage box that holds like my sleeping bag, different things, uh, a couple chairs and a table I made. So that can go under the canopy. That's a nice setup. So let's go around, show you a different angle. This unit I love, simple. It's a shoe organizer. You put it on the back of the driver's side and it just holds all your knickknacks, flashlights, um, my towel there, soap, mosquito repellent, extra bungee cords, more toilet paper. Thing's amazing. You can put your toothbrush, your toothpaste. Here's my unit. It's not a high-end unit. I'll get one eventually. This is not a lithium battery unit, but it works fine for right now. And uh, again, here's the uh, inside. Um, and then in between the seats, I built this box. And what I like about this is you open it up, it's got all of my electrical stuff in there. So I've got uh, um, cords for charging my phones, my computer. Uh, my computer can go in that container under the bed, which is what you saw. There's a little day pack for when you go hiking. Uh, I've got an extra umbrella, beach umbrella. Uh, what else? Oh, and I've got a little movie set up there that takes CDs and... Uh, I've got uh, some cool little music sound systems for the back when you're hanging out and cooking here in the back, and that's it. I mean, oh, these are good to have too. One of these little extra chairs. Those are great. They're 20 bucks. Hang out at the campfire. Just party down, baby. So that's it. That's the best I can do for now. But the killer part of this is it's such a um, non... Uh, in, I would say it's a very mellow vehicle. I think that's a good way to put it. People don't even notice it. Police don't even notice it. 
You can camp anywhere you want. And uh, it's the way to go. It's the way to go. All right. See you guys later.